Howdy folks, in today's episode of I had no intention of buying this figure until it was staring me right in the face at Target, I'm going to review Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy's Kingdom Maximal T-Rex. Now he is a direct recolor, repaint, if that's what you want to call it, of Kingdom Megatron, which I really, really liked. So this is really going to be more of a versus video between Maximal T-Rex and Kingdom Megatron. Megatron. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to roll the intro and take a look at Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy's Kingdom Maximal T-Rex. It's Kato! As always, I'd like to say a quick thank you to all my current subscribers. You guys are helping me on my goal to 4,000 subscribers by TFCon. And a massive shout out to my channel members. You can see their names scrolling here. How much I appreciate you guys. A very, very special shout out to my Beast Level channel members. You guys went the extra mile to go up to that Beast tier. And you know that without you, none of this would be possible or near as fun. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, click that join button below. Unless you're on one of those evil Apple devices, click the join link in the description. As always, the first thing I want to do is take a look at the packaging. And the packaging is very similar to the Megatron packaging, which I no longer have. You can see T-Rex there in the back. His awesome looking dinosaur mode right here on the front. On the side, you get a shot of him in robot mode blasting at the Predacons. On the back, robot mode, alt mode, 27 steps. All very similar to Beast Megatron. This is WFCK37. If you want, you can screenshot that barcode right there and check and see if your targets have it. Now let's get him out of the box. Much like Megatron, he comes with no real accessories other than uh, the instruction book. And the transformation is the same. I likely will not go over transformation in this, but I will go over the quality of transformation and see how it stacks up to the original. But yeah, instructions. Now I am by no means an expert on Beast Wars or Beast Machines, either era. I, I enjoyed Beast Wars. I watched almost no Beast Machines, but I, I, like I said, I wasn't even gonna pick this character up, but there it was on the shelf and it looked really good. And I love that Megatron mold. So I did a little bit of digging, not much. It doesn't take much to look up who was T-Rex. And it was interesting enough, basically the leader of the new Dinobots and Beast Machines. Maybe they'll do the rest of the Dinobots. I don't know, but I'm a collector and there it was and I got it. So no regrets, right? Anyway, right in the package, it's, it's neat to see the color differences. What is interesting, and I'll bring out uh, Kingdom Megatron here in a bit, is I think this one actually has less paint than the original. Actually, I'm, I'm certain it does. This is all plastic that I can tell. Now, I did read that there was some paint on there, but either way, it's a very bland color, and I know that it was originally. I'll pop the image up over here to the side of what I found from the original repaint of Beast Wars Megatron to T-Rex and put that right there so you can kind of see where the origin of this character comes from. And I like it, but it is pretty bland. There's not a lot of color here in the chest. You've got some silver there. And I'll get a close up here in a bit, but just to go over a few things, you've got this brownish red, almost mud-like skin tone Still the same rubbery texture that Megatron had. You've got this very cool metallic blue on the tail. You can see it kind of glisten there in the light. Uh, a blue plastic here, more of that metallic blue along the tail here, or what will be the tail, and then that metallic blue along the head here. But overall, it's, it's identical to Megatron. Uh, let me get a close up here of the head and see what we're looking at. It is the identical head sculpt to Megatron, but they've managed to paint a little bit of silver there just between the lips. Not actually that gritting his teeth face that we saw circulating the internet for a while, which I believe still has, uh, I think that one's out there somewhere, but this is definitely not that. Metallic paint here on the face with the yellow eyes. 
no real maximal logo or anything to be seen on the head unlike the predacon logo that was there on megatron you got like i was saying this is all plastic here with some silver paint coming down you've got this red bit here in the uh, missile pods and all that very cool metallic paint there on the tail i think that is very very good looking more metallic paint there on the inside of the tail or what will be the outside of the tail detail going down the legs same exact detail as megatron there's not a lot to go over here the dino head still does all the same stuff opens and closes and you've got the little slot there for a blast effect silver on the teeth rather than the white yellow eyes rather than red but mostly it is the same let's bring uh kingdom megatron out and take a look at them side by side comparing these two side by side to me there is no question which one looks better the kingdom megatron just pops so much more with the purple and silver here this just looks unfinished now again it's based on t-rex from previous releases or the previous release so it's pretty accurate but it wouldn't have hurt to, you know, doll this guy up a little bit. Again, I do love this metallic paint, but I still like the original kind of faded look of, you know, the multicolor fade going into Megatron here. So definitely the same bot. Even the head sculpt, again, is, it looks to be exactly the same, just with some, a little silver stripe across the lip there. Looking at the back, again, exact same robot, just with some bland color plastic here, as opposed to the purple and the metallic paint and blue on the crotch, as opposed to the uh, gray and this, what is that, aqua color that's on his back. Articulation in robot mode, again, exact same as Kingdom Megatron. You've got rotation at the head, a bit of up and down and not really any side to side you have rotation all the way around at the shoulder in and out bicep at about 90 degrees uh, nothing really at this hand here uh, but the tail will go up and down and open and close and some i think i said rotation at the bicep you have 360 at the waist no real ab crunch you have bend here at this dino elbow and the jaw will open all the way up just like before with a rotation at the bicep there legs will go out about that far unless you want to bring this down and they'll go all the way out you can come up back uh, swivel at the knee and uh, right at 90 degrees of knee bend with some ankle tilt and a bit of pivot there on the side one thing to point out too is this the gray skeleton the joints here stand out a lot on this because of that, that little gray nub right there against that brownish red does kind of stand out so there you have articulation and just like beast megatron from kingdom i think the dino mode really is where this stands out and probably where i'm going to keep this version of megatron the t-rex mold i'm probably going to keep in dino mode because i do really like that metallic blue stripe down the back one thing i noticed after transformation is the plastic bits the internal skeleton do tend to kind of stand out more with t-rex so the gray here and basically the robots tend to stick out a little more for me uh, on this mold uh, in, in beast mode, but not so much that it's annoying. I like the texture, the same texture that we had with Megatron, those creepy yellow eyes, silver teeth and tongue in there. Again, just like I showed in robot mode, you have the blast effect, effect blast effect port in there. The, some of the joints are a little more loose and I don't know if that's because there's less paint on here or just because maybe mold degradation but I doubt that. It's got to be more along the lines of less paint for tolerances. Transformation is just as pleasant and or annoying as you found uh, the original. Articulation is the same. You're going to get some swivel here, the jaw, some up and down on the head here. All, all that's the same. A ball joint for 
the, the front arms, uh, this strange little swivel they have in here, knee bend, and of course the foot articulation is the same. The tail will go up and down or in and out right here. It will swivel around, so if you want to move that around a bit. But there's no, no new technology in this version of the mold, just some new colors. But again, I will probably keep this version of him in beast mode because I really like it. That is until the Jurassic Park version comes out then I'll probably keep that one in beast mode instead. Here he is side by side with Kingdom Megatron and you can kind of see what I'm getting at here with the skeletal part being a little more standout-ish, right? So you can see this gray and this internal gray stands out a lot more than the purple on here. They would have been better served to do all these internal bits, the same brown or reddish mud brown, whatever you want to call it and it wouldn't stand out as much. It's a little off-putting, but not a complete deal breaker for me. Uh, his legs do seem a little more loose and wobbly than the original release, but overall it's, it's essentially the exact same thing with some new colors. I do absolutely love all this metallic blue. I think it is a beautiful paint job for what bit of limited paint is there. The robot mode, I don't really like that much. I think it's missing a lot of detail and Megatron kind of scratches that robot mode itch. But uh, beast mode absolutely is where I'm gonna keep this, despite the fact that again, they should have colored all these bits here, this same brown rather than leaving them gray because you can see it's a great example as he rotates here with the joints open, how much these stand out. So maybe I'll get brave and grab a paintbrush or something and put a little dab of color in there. Definitely uh, could use a bit of help inside there. Transformation, same as you got out of Beast Megatron, not really anything different there. The PVC rubbery type skin that's on here, works exactly the same way, maybe even a bit better. Uh, I had a bit easier time transforming him than I did originally with Beast Megatron. But overall, this is gonna be one of those figures that you're either gonna be a completionist, you have a bit more of a connection to Beast Machines than some others. I'm surprised it wasn't a Generation Selects figure rather than just a Target exclusive. But overall, more than happy that I have him. I could definitely see plenty of folks passing on this just because they may not have a connection to the character. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate always you guys taking your time to watch these reviews and spending your time with me. I really, really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. The rest of the rejected cons are Sardo News by 82, Larkin Slayer, and Inu Tabi. Their links are in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for being here. And until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut.